Today, we have 15 new players being added to FC25 that have never been seen before. And starting with the youngest player on this entire list is none other than Lamine Yamal, who is expected to have his first ever FIFA card at at least an 80 overall, but that's nothing compared to a ones to watch or even a future star, which will be rated at least a 90 overall by the end of the game. But that's just the first player, and each new player will get even crazier until the final two that will completely change FC25. So moving on to number four, 14 is somebody who grew up watching Bobby Charlton, Endrick, who just turned 18 on July 21st, but he's going to be added as a rare gold in FC 25. And after seeing all of his past interviews, he might link up with old heads like Garincha and Bobby Charlton, but he will link perfectly to the best player in the game, Kylian Mbappe. But moving on to the final young player is somebody with even better chemistry with Kylian Mbappe, Ethan Mbappe, who just signed a contract at PSG because of his older brother, but his as soon as Killian left to join Real Madrid, Ethan abandoned his club and signed with the first team in Lille, earning himself his first ever bronze card in FC25. And now that the three youngest players have been added to the game, we're moving on to the next level. Because not only are EA adding 13 new heroes to the game, but there are three of them that are different from everybody else. Because at number 12 is somebody who got completely screwed by EA, Eden Hazard, who 100% deserved to become an icon, but EA confirmed he's only to be added as an 86 overall hero instead, meaning he's the same rating as Sami Al Haber, somebody I have not heard of before I started playing FIFA. But if Eden Hazard as just the hero pisses you off, just wait until you see some of the icons being added later on in the video. But next at number 11 is just the first American on this list, Tim Howard, who is easily the best American keeper of all time. But there's another American that could have made this list, Hope Solo, who is the best female keeper to ever play, except except she got arrested in 2014. But believe it or not, there are two more players on this list that belong in Prison FC. But moving on to the final hero is somebody who could have been better than Janola, and that's Zay Roberto, who is only to be added as an 86 overall hero, but we're predicting he'll have 88 pace and 90 dribbling, meaning he will easily sell for more than a million coins when the game first comes out. But we still have brand new icons and an entire league being added, but we're leveling up again to the first player from Prison FC, Mason Greenwood, who was removed from FIFA 22 after being a horrible person, yet somehow he's made a return to Man United, meaning he'll once again be added to FC 25 as one of the most disliked players of all time, right next to Megan Rapino. And next at number eight is somebody who just got re-added to the game, Luis Suarez, who played just one season in the Brazilian league, and because of licensing disagreements, he wasn't in the game. But after he got up and followed Messi to Inter Miami, we could be seeing Messi Suarez Neymar one final time in FC 25. But next at number seven is a player who hasn't been seen since FIFA 23, David De Gea. After leaving Man United, he was a free agent all of 2023-24, but after signing a new contract for Fiorentina, we'll be seeing the greatest Spanish keeper of all time once again in FC 25. But if you thought Suarez and De Gea will have a huge impact on FC 25, EA is leveling up again because we have at least seven new icons being added to the game. And starting us off is someone right on the cover of the game, Gigi Buffon, who is going to be one of the craziest keepers we have ever seen. And EA have confirmed that for the first time ever, we're going to see playstyle pluses that work on keepers. So we will have Gigi Buffon with the quick reflexes playstyle plus. But moving on to the second new icon is just the second American icon of all time, Julie Foudy, who is somebody you've probably never heard of before, but she's going to be a Mia Hamm part two. But EA have decided to add four new icon women alongside her, giving us Marinette Pichon, Aya Miyama, Lada Shilin, and Nadine Angerer to make this game even more interesting. But the final icon we're going to focus on is the most overpowered player I have ever seen, Gareth Bale, who is going to be added with some of the craziest stats in FIFA history, competing with players like R9, Thierry Henry, and even Johan Cruyff in FC25 with some incredible playstyle plus. But before we get into the final play, players being added to FC 25, EA has done something we haven't seen in a long time because they've decided to add an entire league to the game. So for the first time ever, we will be able to use players from the Argentinian league. But this opens the door to a ton of future possibilities because it means EA is working on obtaining the licenses for specific leagues like Mexico and Brazil. So once again, we will be able to use every single player in the world. But we're moving on to the final level because EA has added two new players that are going to 
change FC25 completely. And the first player isn't a pro player at all because it's Fabrizio. EA has confirmed that they are adding Fabrizio to career mode, meaning that EA is going to be adding influencers and celebrities to FC25, meaning that we could see future announcers like Thierry Henry and Kate Abdo, or even post-game commentary from celebrities like Angry Ginge or Danny Aarons. But finally, the craziest player EA is adding is going to be the highest rated player in FIFA history, Diego Maradona, who I thought we would never see again. But he changed his mind over licensing rights, and EA finally has the rights to use his image in-game. But it's not confirmed just yet, because even though they have the imaging rights, they have not finalized a contract with his family. But there is still the possibility we see him in FC25. But let me know who we missed. Make sure to check out the differences between the standard and ultimate edition, and hit that subscribe button. And peace!